Hi everyone! Today I'm going to talk about clocks, toothpaste, glass, chewing gum, jewelry, and steel. These things might sound very random, but actually there is one, made, one, one common feature, and this is that they're all made up of very valuable minerals, such as quartz, calcite, gold, iron, or, or silver. <laughs> but where can we find these minerals? Of course, we can find them in rocks. They appear in so many different ways, in so many different rocks. But we are interested in one geological feature, and these are the veins. Yes, there are veins in the rocks, but there is no blood flowing through them. The veins are actually open fractures that have been filled with different minerals. When a fracture is open, the fluid flows through, carrying all these different kinds of materials and minerals. When these precipitate in the fracture, the fracture closes, it heals. And the fluid cannot flow through them anymore, because it's closed. It seems so obvious that when this happens, the rock changes, because we put in different materials in the rock. And it seems obvious that, depending on what we put in the rock, uh, the, this change is different. But how is it really obvious, and how does this exactly work? So what we do is that we simulate this process using computers. As you can see on my slide, just imagine a big rock on which a very heavy elephant is sitting, and two trucks is trying to pull away the rocks, the rock, and the fluid tries to go through, is going through below. So the elephant represents the gravity and the sediment that we apply on top. And the big trucks represent these major forces that, tries to pull, that they are pulling away the rocks. So what happens is, if we fill the fractures with soft minerals, such as calcite, as you can see, we get many fractures. The fractures are the red, red ones. And we see a few veins too. But the fluid is very happy. It can flow, it can go through the open fractures. It can go through the red ones. However, if we fill these fractures with hard minerals, such as quartz or iron or silver, we, we get a lot of veins, but we don't get many fractures. So this fluid is very sad, it cannot go through the, through the rock. So my research concerns this, this effect and helps the industry trying to understand uh, how does this work. That's it.